So we finally know what Daisy Frostline is. We've been teased for quite a while, and we know that Bohemia organized a special meetup for some content creators and community members to show them on a presentation what Frostline actually is. So I'm going to resort you to more information over at Freshborn's channel. They've got about 40 minutes, I believe, of the presentation recorded on a projector where the developers are talking in more depth about what Frostline actually is. But I'll give you the lowdown here. It's essentially to Noah, as far as I can tell, but remade in a more of a snowy environment. So you've got some more weather like in the mouse to play with. We can see in this shot here, actually, the volcano in the background. I think I noticed at one point in the Freshborn video, at least, it was mentioned about the volcano and its activity. Whether this is actually going to impact gameplay or anything, I don't know. Um, I wasn't there, but there, there are other videos and there's probably some, some information people can dig up. But I just wanted to get a quick video out to say that this is now available to Wishlist and there is a page and all the information that you need. There's some nice screenshots here. I'll put them bigger on screen for you to see. And I'll also leave a link to the Fresh Pawn video in the description as well as the Steam page for Daisy Frostline so you can wishlist. Uh, we've got some nice different styles of terrain here. It's a bit more red rocky with some skeletons and the hot springs and things like that. Um, we're going to have the wolves and the very much mountainous and the mouse type area. I think to Noah as well was a map I said many years ago, if anybody remembers, um, would be great to come to Daisy. And I did mention that if anything, Frostline will be a map, and probably snowy. A lot of people said it was ashy, which, you know, there is a volcano, so that could be uh, could be what that actually was. A lot of people were saying Daisy 1.5, Daisy 2. Uh, nah, nah, it, it weren't going to be Daisy 2. It's not the right time in the environment for a Daisy 2 just yet. Uh, th th that's not going to happen or a Daisy 1.5. I said it would be a map, probably a snowy map. And here we are. Uh, so I'm not going to say I called it, but I, I, I called it. Yeah. So we should have snowfall according to what footage we have seen. And uh, not so much dynamic snow accumulation on the ground, but we will have snowfall. Um, I don't think that's actually possible in the current iteration of the tech that Daisy is actually using. Uh, maybe when a Daisy 2 does come and arrive, uh, that technology may may have caught up and we may see some actual snow accumulation on the ground, dynamic weathers like you can with Unreal Engine 5. And yeah, it'll be a totally different environment. So that's why I think a Daisy 1.5 or a Daisy 2 is a long way off just yet. Uh, we're going to the business side of it just quickly. Uh, Reforger is a test bed for armor. I think that's going to be preparing the full infusion technology for the next big armor release which a lot of people will jump to because that's going to be the next big thing and the next technology leap and the full game release. And then after that, with its more refined technology and the experience the team have with the engine, if it happens, we will see a Daisy 2 after Armor 4. Um, so probably a couple of years, maybe two years before we see an Armor 4 as an estimate. I don't know this. I'm just guessing from, from using a, a business point of view. Um, we may get a release or a reveal of Armor 4. Uh, probably going to see two to four years after that before we even have a reveal of, of, of a Daisy 2, potentially. I uh, could be off on that by a mile, but that, that's my estimate. Um, you've got to space these things out. Right now, the environment in the survival genre, there's a lot of extraction shooters are, are very, very popular now, which is a spin-off of survival. We had Daisy, then we had Battle Royales, which was a spin-off of Armor originally. Um, a mod by Lair Unknown, as we know. They grew into what they were. And then Extraction is a kind of spin-off subgenre of Battle Royale and Survival. And they are super big right now. So releasing a Daisy 2 right now in the current environment, in the, in the in the gaming landscape, is not a good idea. So we always knew that it wasn't going to be that big of, a, of, a, of an announcement. It's just the way it is. That's just, um, from a business standpoint, how these things work. You've got to wait for the right time, uh, when the most money is going to be made, and all that kind of thing. This will, of course, give them more money. They can sell a DLC. It'll be a nice big map. It'll be something new for DayZ. It looks like they've um, done some really good, nice work with these hot springs and locations, nice points of interest. But yeah, well, I think we're many years off of uh, even a reveal for a DayZ 2. Um, but the technology is getting there. As you know, I've been playing Reforger quite a lot with Jarski and King of the Hill. Seeing 80 players in one confined location, a town fighting over it with the choppers flying, the vehicles racing everywhere, all the gunshots and everything going on. It's smooth as butter. I, I can't name one time I've seen a helicopter stutter the slightest, a vehicle flip over for no reason. I'm extremely impressed with how Reforger is. So that's just that side of the future of armor. And, you know, if a Daisy 2 did happen, I am 
pretty confident they're on the right track uh, as far as that goes. But this, for the current technology of DayZ, is pretty impressive uh, that, the, that they've got a nice new snowy map. We knew Namask wasn't going to happen because that's Adam's baby and he, he always said that that's, that's, that's his baby and he, he's going to keep that personal and working on it. So this is the next best thing. So I think we've got uh, a lot of the people they've hired recently from the community modders that have been probably working on this with Adam and uh, the rest of the team making something extremely special for us. So I will be trying this out when it's out. So you can look forward to that. I'll probably get a few of my uh, friends of the community to join me and we'll do a little uh, exploration, excursion, and uh, try and find each other at least because it's been a while since I've uh, played. So I'll familiarize myself. Uh, played properly at least. I have a little, little dabbles here and there, but not too much. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll explore it together and see what we can find. Any little nice secrets, but it looks very, very nice. I'm just clicking through the page here, but we got some information anyway. I'm, before I waffle on too much, we got that bit out of the way. Uh, I don't want to make the video too long for you guys. Um, like I said, go over and watch Freshborns or any of the other content creators that have caught footage. Um, and th there'll be more, some more information in depth on the actual map itself. But we've got some key features here on the, on the page. So key features of Frostline expansion, new terrain. Explore a rugged and forgotten volcanic archipelago in the Far East, where time has stopped winter landscape. An authentic recreation of a late winter environment from icy lakes to snow-covered forests and mountains. Sakhal, I guess that's the map name, offers a picturesque scenery everywhere you go. Harsh survival, Sakhal poses by far the biggest danger out of any environments you may have visited. Prepare for the cold as you manage warmth, hunt for food, and fend off the dangers lurking in the snow. Environmental hazards. Discover the hazards of living near volcanic areas. Oh yeah, that's kind of interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing what that actually uh, means. Is it oh, lava, you know? You don't want to step in that, that hot stuff. Richer wilderness. Encounter new animals adapted to the chilly climate, adding to your hunting challenges and opportunities. New animals. Ooh. I did see a rabbit, I think, or a hare in one of the uh, little sneak peek clips. There's like a, a cropped section of uh, like a reveal that they were sent. Um, I watched Boydie's live stream of it, and there was definitely a hare in that little clip. Um, so interesting. New diseases and updated fishing mechanic are among many to keep you on your toes. That's interesting. Okay, I love my bit of fishing, you know that. Do like a bit of fishing in Daisy. Winter cosmetics, dress for the season with winter-themed cosmetics. Sakala harbors both beauty and danger, offering an experience Daisy fans have never seen before as you explore, hunt, and survive. Unfill the mysteries hidden beneath the frost line. Unite with fellow survivors or forge your path alone. The choice is yours in this perilous winter wonderland. Preparation is key to survival, and as the frost sets in, only those with ice in their veins and fire in their hearts will endure. I like that last phrase. That's nice. Kudos to whoever wrote that. That's uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, Livonia as well, if those who didn't know, is going to be free. It's going to become a free uh, addition to Daisy. So don't worry about purchasing that. That is going to be free to everybody. And this will be the new paid DLC. Not sure on pricing just yet. I'm not sure if it's mentioned in those videos. I might have missed it, but I'm sure we'll find out pricing sooner than later. I believe it's around 86 kilometers squared, not including the ice sheets. So similar to Namowsk, where the ice sheets are on the outside of the map, you can still explore where the submarine was found in Namowsk. That was really cool. So lots of exploration to be had. But let me know your thoughts on Daisy Frostline. Are you looking forward to it? I believe it's the end of this year, quarter four. This will be released. Lots of work still to be done by the team. So amazing work so far. Don't forget to go and watch the Freshborns video, for the 40 minutes presentation they had, or anybody else that has that recording. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to continue seeing the content I create. Most of all, thank you for watching, and I'll see you peeps next time.